consolation game in the Upper St. Clair kickoff soccer tournament. Today we have uh, the Upper St. Clair Panthers coming off a heartbreaking 2-1 to one loss in penalty kicks yesterday against Thomas Jefferson. They will be facing P Penn Trafford. Uh, Trafford yesterday lost another close game, 1-0 to the Lindsley School. So uh, these are two uh, AAA schools and both excellent teams. Should be a great game this afternoon. Uh, Panthers got a rebound. They <laughs> clearly haven't lost since late in the 03-04 uh, season. So we'll see how this squad can do rebounding. They are a young team, but uh, they really, I thought, got the better of play yesterday against Thomas Jefferson. Had some trouble finishing, especially in the second half. Finally got the equalizer, but as I mentioned before, lost in penalty kicks. It'll be interesting to see uh, what lineup the Panthers come back with. Uh, Co-captain Michael Cartier will not be available today. He suffered severe cramping and uh, strained a muscle yesterday in his leg. Will not be available uh, this afternoon at center mid, so might see some changes in the lineup. Right now it looks like we have Lenny Mills up front with Michael Shuley. Both uh, one's a junior, Lenny is, and Shuley is a senior. Once again, Sean Lewis uh, minding net for the Panthers. He did an admirable job yesterday in his first varsity start. Uh, I'm trying to see who we have. Uh, looks like Nate Brindle will once again be uh, back at the sweeper spot, captaining the back line. He did a pretty stout job there yesterday. And once again, we will have Andrew Riley out here on the right mid, closest to us. The Panthers are in white. They will be going from left to right. Peter, uh, excuse me, Penn Trafford in the green, going right to left. And we're underway. Penn Trafford starts and controls. This is Nick Palmieri pressuring. Ball's tapped back. Eric Levine, who played a fine game yesterday, in the middle of Tyler Stevens. Stevens going down the wing. That look, that's Yu Ishihara making a run. And the ball's taken away by Penn Trafford and controlled. Uh, to complete the lineup, we have Matt McClintock back in his familiar stopper spot. And our sophomore Chris Burke at the left marking back. So a similar lineup as to the one St. Clair ended the game with the exception of Cartier. Now this is Penn Trafford controlling. Moving cross and switching fields. Trafford carries. Matt McClintock challenges. And the ball down the wing here. It's tapped over. Bad touch. And Stevens still kind of jostling in the midfield. And here's Nick Palmieri controlling. He has time. Going for the long ball for Lenny Mills, but Lenny was not anticipating that pass. And it's going to go to the Trafford goalie. Dangerous ball outside, but it is controlled. Trafford with a, a very... Oh, Riley with a nice pick. He looked in the middle, could not control. This is Riley and Tyler Stevens. Nice little move. Turns, great little chip to Shuley. Shuley looked like he was tripped in the box there. Nothing called. I'm a little bit surprised there. Didn't look like a whole lot of contact made on the ball. Boy, that was a nice little creative chip pass uh, Tyler Stevens made, and it looked like Shuley was running free, but no penalty called in the uh, box there. And now Nathan Brindle called for a little bit of obstruction pushing. And it looks like we might have our first booking of the game very early. Generally speaking, officials don't necessarily want to compound an error they might have made uh, just seconds earlier, but now we do have a booking, and it looks like it's on Nathan Brindle. Brindle's going to have to come out of the game, and Coach Uwe Schneider's going to have to sub earlier than he'd probably like to. Phil Luckin coming into the game. He's a senior defender. And Penn Trafford will have a free kick in a fairly dangerous area here, about 35 yards out. They go short. That's Ed Palco, a senior. And uh, the ball's deflected out of bounds. That will be a Penn Trafford throw in. <laughs> they're trying to, it looks like they're trying to sub uh, Brendel right back into the game, and that's not going to be allowed on the Trafford throw. Ben Trafford trying to control. Dangerous pass back. Lenny Mills steps in, makes a nice play. Good anticipation, still controls. Taps back, and this is Tyler Stevens. Ben Trafford going to switch fields. Oh, nice little tap on. Little side heel, side heel pass. Riley battling. Nice hustle by Andrew Riley to take back. A dangerous cross in the box. Cleared away by Yu Ishihara, nice play. Mike Shuley wins with his head. No, it stayed in. Mike Shuley keeps. 
Shuley with a nice little touch to Stevens. Stevens got a little time. Oh, chips beautifully to Lenny Mills. This is dangerous. Oh, and the Penn Trafford goalie comes off his line. Very aggressive. Beautiful positioning. Make the play. But that was a nice look. Both good scoring opportunities generated by Tyler Stevens so far. Drop punt. Pretty long. Andrew Riley wins it with the head, but Penn Trafford controls. Ill-advised pass. Levine takes. Controls. Across to McClintock. And this will be uh, Palmieri with space. Nikki with a nice little pass up. This is you, sprinting the left wing. And a little bit of a misguided cross, and the goalie comes out and makes the play. Boy, this goalie has one heck of a drop kick. <laughs> Ball's all the way to the Panther goal. Ooh, Sean Lewis comes out, juggles but controls. Boy, that's going to be a heck of a weapon as this game progresses to see a guy who can punt the ball that far. Lewis no slides himself in the punting category. Nice play by uh, Andrew Riley to poke that. Levine with the touch. He's still battling. Now it's stolen. Stevens tries to steal back. Penn Trafford controls and switches. Yuishihara battling off. Ooh. He looked like he had position. There was a little bit of hand fighting. He will be called for the foul. And Penn Trafford with another free kick. Quick restart. This is Tony Saffron, a senior midfielder. Falco back to Saffron. Looks for the shot, actually deflects off his own man, and Panthers will control. Chris Burke looking up. Controlled by Penn Trafford once again. Pass back over, and controlled. Trafford winning the battle of the midfield so far. Touch him, McClintock leaning on him. Surely with a nice tough play, and controls. Nice pass by McClintock. He has Nick Palmieri. Palmieri wins it. Tyler Stevens controls. Great work by Stevens in the early going. Nice little outside pass. Looking for Mills, but the Penn Trafford defender up to the task. Justin Yeagers. This is Stevens again. Running through it. It's going to roll to the end line. That's going to force a deep upper St. Clair throw. Good work by Lenny Mills and Tyler Stevens in tandem. Nathan Brindle re-entering the game after his yellow card had to sit out. And this is a dangerous area for Upper St. Clair, as we know, in the offensive attack. This has been known Matt McClintock area, and this is just as good as a corner, maybe better. So we have McClintock on the throw in here, re-entering the ball. Looking inside. P Penn Trapper gets ahead on it, but Tyler Stevens is going to try to turn. Nice old move. Palmieri could not step in, and this is a dangerous counterattack. Ed Palco's got space here for Penn Trafford. Surely with a little bit of a shove. Gets the ball back. But Hughes steals it right back. Now he's run off the ball. Some, some physical play in the early going, very chippy. And touched back. This is Sean McCormick, a senior uh, marking back. Oh, it's sold to nobody there. Matt McClintock has it. Looking to play long ball, but Ben Trafford up to the challenge there. Tapped, and it's going to roll out of bounds. Upper St. Clair throw. Eric Levine to take. Looking for Lenny Mills. Stepped in, and the Ben Trafford defender heads it out of bounds. Andrew Riley looking to re-enter the ball. Uve pleading for them on the sideline to switch fields, be a little more creative here. Levine looking middle. And Trafford steps in. This is going to be Burke to Brindle. Looking up for Shuley to no avail. Penn Trafford looking stout on the back line so far. Nice little pass there. This is Trafford attacking up the right wing. Oh, and he fanned on it. And Burke will clear. And it's still in play. It's the advantage of grass, really kills the ball. Look at Mike Shuley win it again. Shuley touches over, ah, he was anticipating that. A nice little step in there, Sean McCormick, the defender, up to the task and roll, across the end line, upper St. Clair throw. A Little bit of a dangerous pass back. Levine poised. Boy, Lognane steals it there. Oh, here's a touch of Ed Palco. Dangerous little pass. But Chris Burke seals his man off beautifully, and 
Sean Lewis comes out off his line, makes a save. Andrew Lugnane, good work. He's a junior midfielder for Penn Trafford, and he's doing good stuff right now. Nice little touch. Here's the punt. Shuley goes up, but Trafford's going to control again. Unlike yesterday, uh, Penn Trafford's getting the majority of the 50-50 balls. A lot of that could be due to the loss of Mike Cartier, who was winning a lot of those balls. Has great size in the center mid for the Panthers. Back to Brindle on the throw. Uh-oh, dangerous. Not controlled well. Lewis out again. Ooh! Looks like he took that in the face, but it is a save. <laughs> Looks like a double touch off that. Shuley going to play with his back to goal. Nice little touch on to Riley. Oh, boy, that's a, a strong tackle by Justin Yeagers up there, but Riley's going to win it back. Stick to itiveness. Nice little touch up, Lenny Mills. Lenny with a stop and go. He's very fast. Oh, beautiful cross, oh, just a little bit behind you. You with a tap back to Chris Burke. Looking for the lefty in swinger. That's beautiful, right to Mills. Oh, Mills touches it. Trying to stay with it. Oh, big collision with the goalie. A big collision with the goalie and we got a foul on Nick Palmieri. Wow, goalie came out very aggressively with hands high. A big collision with Lenny Mills and it's going to be a no call, and Panthers get a penalty there on the close to the uh, Penn Trafford goal line. Touches it back to the keeper. Nice little deke by the keeper. Pops it up. McClintock with a nice little move. Touches it off the Penn Trafford defender for a St. Clair throw. Matt going long, he sees Lenny Mills. Looked like the Penn Trafford play defender headed it out of bounds, and yes, he did. This is dangerous territory. Matt McClintock once again. It'll be interesting to see who the target guy is for Upper St. Clair today. Uh, Mike Cartier was trying to get back flicks on this particular play yesterday. Uh, looks like maybe Lenny Mills or Michael Shuley even. McClintock throwing it. Tyler runs in. Ooh, dangerous spot. Hits the ground, but nobody touched. This is Levine tapping back to Brindle. Panthers control. Bad midfield. Nice little touch forward to Lenny Mills. He's on sides. And the goalie comes out. Yeah, Lenny looked, looked like he was going to try to just tap it around him there after the big collision last time and couldn't quite get it around him. Big punt. Matt McClintock wins with his head. This is Brindle. That's forward. Surely trying to win it onto Stevens. Nice little head. Touched forward by Penn Trafford. Burke coming on. Took a weird bounce. Nice little head in the middle. This is Palco again. Coming down the middle. Touch back. Saffron controls. Plays with it. Oh, nice little touch pass. But Andrew Riley once again. And Palmieri controls with his head. He's got a little room down the right wing here. But Nicky hustles and wins it back. It was blocked, his initial pass. Nice little touch forward, but it's stolen away. And Eric Levine once again comes forward and makes the play. Now it's touched. This is Logan again. He has space, touches over. A lot of space in the center here for Penn Trafford. Chips forward, but Tyler Stevens with a nice little diving half volley and knees it out of trouble. This will be a Penn Trafford throw. And we have uh, our first Penn Trafford substitution of the day. Looks like number 18, Brady Sanders, in. He is a sophomore. Nice little touch by Paul Mary. He has all kinds of time right now. I don't exactly know why he chose to play the ball there. He had all kinds of space. Might be poor communication. But uh, he had all kinds of space there carrying down the right side. Looking to spring Lenny Mills. Another long drop kick by the goalie. Levine with his head. Looks like a little bit of a push off by the uh, Penn Trafford player. No call. Burke steps in. Now Stevens. 
A lot of space here. Ooh, ill-advised touch. Yu's going to win that. Touches it back to Burke. Burke clears. Looking for Mills. Oh. Thank you. Huge push on the back by defenseman Sean McCormick trying to jostle for position. Quick restart by McClintock. He has you. Ah, that's unfortunate. It skipped a little bit. Matt had a good idea going there. I don't think they were on the same page. Trafford throw in. Ooh, errant touch over the middle. Lenny steps in and gets it. This is Shuley. Touches to Nick. Nice little crossover. Nice little two little moves by Palmer. He's still carrying. And gets intercepted again. Just waiting a little too long to send the cross. And we got a bunch of subs for the Upper St. Clair Panther. A whole convoy coming in here. This is number four, Justin Burdett coming in. He is a junior midfielder. He's replacing Andrew Riley. Looks like we have JT Pye on up front. He's a senior forward. He's going to be replacing Mike Shuley. I believe there was one more sub. Twenty oh number twenty two. Uh, he's not on our roster, so I don't really know what to tell you folks. Nice little step through here by Penn Trafford. Tried to touch it. Looked like a handball by Levine. No call. Levine blocks again. Trying to do a little creative touch through, but uh, nobody helped. Burdett touches, but not up the middle. That's touch over. This could be a strike here. Nice deflection there. Stepping in by Brindle. We continue. Penn Trafford wins again in the midfield. This is Palco with space. Nice little step in there, Chris Burke. And that's going to be out of bounds. 22 running him off the play. I once again apologize. I do not know his name, and it's not on the roster. Uh oh, and that looks like it touched off Chris Burke on the cross for a corner kick. So we got our first, I do believe this is our first corner of the afternoon. Will be taken by Penn Trafford. And Matt McClintock heading it, but not quite out. Dangerously and then cleared by Nate Brindle. Oh, and Lenny Mills has room here. This is dangerous, and he has a streaking JT Pion. Nice little move. Look at Lenny Mills. He has great speed. Tried to do a little toe poke by him, but uh, the goalie was in great position. <laughs> and we got a little space back the other way. Touched over to Falco. Tyler Stevens winning it once again in the midfield. Now touch back to Maddie. Looking forward. A little bit of an air touch, but it'll work. This is Mills. Mills has Palmieri far side, and he finds him. Great ball by Lenny Mills. Nikki Palmieri with a goal. Boy, that's a great little ball by Lenny Mills, and then a nice little volley touched by Nick Palmieri. You got to feel good for Nick Palmieri. He was the last kicker yesterday in the penalty kicks, just missed wide, and Nikki Palmieri's really played two strong games here back to back so far, and it's great to see him get a finish. His first goal of the season in the Upper St. Clair Panthers strike first blood, one nothing. It's funny, uh, Coach Uwe Schneider has been yelling for them to switch fields and go for some of those longer passes, and uh, they finally did it and did it to perfection. Mills to Palmieri, one nothing. Some subs here for Penn Trafford. Upper St. Clair got some fresh, fresh legs out there with some subs, and it looked like it paid off. This is Penn Trafford controlling, now trailing one nothing. JT Pion steps on with the win. And he controls. He's certainly a big athletic body. Now over to, don't know, but he gets through, Lenny Mills. Now Trafford controls in the midfield. Lognane chips to Palco. Kind of goes behind the play against the grain. Saffron still controls in the midfield. Touches it. Ooh, Palmieri just misses. Now they got more space. Palco again. 
Nice little crossover. He's looking for a shot. Ooh, skip, skip pretty hard. Sean Lewis up to the task. He was heading for the far post or the near post, and he slid in, made a nice little save. Lewis with the bounce. JT tries to seal and slips. Going to the midfield. A step over. Tries to get a touch through. Now this is Falco carrying once again. He's getting space. And ooh, and Aaron touching. It looks like Lenny might, ooh, Lenny almost stepped on and won it again. But Nikki steps in. Looked like it could have been borderline dangerous. Was not called. Penn Trafford running on again. Dangerous area. Oh, nice little poke by Levine. Shot on. Sean Lewis in great position. Watches it roll. Harmlessly for a goal kick. And some more subs here for the Panthers. We have Lenny Mills coming off. Mike Shuley coming on. And Kyle Altcolt. He's a freshman. He's replacing Tyler Stevens in the midfield. So Sean Lewis putting the ball back in play here. Burdett trying to seal here. He does so. Levine with a nice little, nice little move to out Colt in the middle. This is McClintock carrying with some time. Nice little ball. But touched away by Penn Trafford defender and they counter. Trafford controls in the mid. Kyle steps on and makes a nice little play. Forcing Penn Trafford to touch back, but then they touch Ricky Miller, taking it up. And now here they got some space in the midfield. Touches out to the wing, nobody home. Oh, but an errant touch. But Chris Burke to the rescue. Turns, controls, and clears. But Lognane turns again, beautiful little turn. They got a man on heading, but heads it wide. Boy, they had Penn Trafford had two front runners in there. Not marked very closely, and uh, that was a pretty dangerous opportunity, but headed just wide. Lewis with another goal kick. One with the head. N now touchdown. Whoa, Levine's tackled. And I think they got that finally. Now touched over, there's your switch fields, but not exactly where you want to do it. Burke touches middle, space for McClintock. Out wide to Palmieri, touches. He looks like he's got some space. Beautiful, little cross, Shuley steps in. Oh, almost a little touch. Another drop kick, that time a little bit less effective. Levine controls, nice little touch. There's Palmieri. That's to A. Burdett, control in the middle. Nice little touch down the line. This is 22 making a run down the left wing. Ricky Miller, the defender of Peters Township, slid and got ball. Uh, boy, Penn, Tra Penn Trafford's getting great work out of their midfield right now. Palco, nice little touch forward. Eric Levine trying to shade there, both he and Burke. Human convoy wall in front. Sean Lewis out aggressively off his line, once again with the save. Trafford starting to, uh, since the goal was scored, starting to probably get the better play here on the attack. Looking for Pion. Pion heads over, but nobody running off him. Oh, Kyle Alcott with a beautiful little touch. Whoa, that could have been a foul. And they got it. I guess he was waiting for the advantage call. Now Kyle was looking for streaking JT Pye on there, was uh, knocked off to the ground, and uh, will be a free kick in a fairly dangerous part of the field. Uh, it looks like Nathan Brindle will take this, probably try to an in-swinger towards the left post. A little too far out. Tried to get back in and kick it, but it looks like it could run the line here. No, that's great hustle by Burdett. Burdett looked like he knocked it off him for a Panther throw. Quick restart, but didn't quite get it to, didn't quite get it there, and kind of a wasted opportunity. 
but we'll run out of bounds and St. Clair will, will keep. And we got some, holy, we got about four, four subs there for St. Clair, two for Penn Trafford. Looks like Mills and Stevens and Ishihara all returning and Andrew Riley. So Matt McClintock will finally uh, get his first break of the afternoon, but other than that, it looks pretty much like the starters. And uh, still be a St. Clair throw. Levine going down the line to Paul Mary, tries to turn. It's going to be another St. Clair throw. And he goes backwards. Levine. So we got another uh, Penn Trafford foul here. This one on Tony Saffron. And we have a uh, another set piece, a little farther out than uh, the Brindle one. This is Eric Levine. He struck it low, but smart play, letting it, letting it roll. We have a Panther throwing. Back to Brindle. He has some time and space. Now he goes to Chris Burke. Burke with a nice ball. Nobody was anticipating. It looked like they had the offside trap on, and St. Clair was a little timid there and not wanting to be off sides and didn't see the strike coming because it was really beautifully positioned. Another nice drop kick by the Penn Trafford goalie, but Levine comes on and attacks. But Trafford once again comes down with control. Nice little ball to the, to the wing here. Eric Levine winning balls as he's been doing the last two days pretty consistently. Trafford controls, and it looks like a little bit of a push by Andrew Riley. P Penn Trafford will get a free, free kick, and this is a Set piece fairly deep in St. Clair's zone. Saffron and Logdane are over it. They've been the two uh, controlling midfielders all afternoon and done a fine job. Logdane with a nice little chip, but it will fall harmlessly to the side for a goal kick. Probably would have liked to get more out of that, but uh, it was a nice little sidewinder, just a little too hard. John Lewis with his umpteenth goal kick. Another strong one. Out called wins with a head. And another head. But once again, Penn Trafford controls in the midfield. That's really been the story of the game so far. 50-50 balls have gone all green in the midfield and have had counterattacks that way. Nice little touch forward, Eric Levine with the head. Uh-oh, another touch. Oh, 16 with beautiful work. Turns and fires. Saffron did, but... Did not manage a real good shot. Sean Lewis, again, up to the task. And uh, have another punt. Low line drive. Trafford tries to win, but doesn't control. Shuley, Paul Mary now, going outside. He has all called. He's got you streaking. Oh, but Penn Trafford defense, defenseman Justin, Justin Yeager steps in. Ball will roll across. Another St. Clair throw taken by Burke. Enders to Kyle and back to Burke. Back to Kyle. Little pitch and catch. Then we got a little give and go with you. You coming down and draws a deep throw in. Finds Paul Mary in the middle. Nick turns. Trying to find Shuley streaking. Couldn't get it to him. Now it's back to Paul Mary. Chest down to his feet and controlled. Ooh, nice little cross, but unfortunately too deep into the goalie cage and Penn Trafford goalie makes the catch and will go back to his patented drop kick. Deep, Chris Burke heads it. <laughs> Burke with the long clear left. <laughs> Shuley with the throw in here. Touched away again by Penn Trafford. Once again, Coach Snyder asking him to fields with the ball. Ooh, a little flick on by Len. Bicycle flick. 
Shuley looks like he might have drawn a corner there. And yes, he did. Michael Shuley with a great run, but it was all triggered there by a nice little bicycle flick by Lenny Mills. And Yu is going to be uh, taking the corner here for the Upper St. Clair Panthers. Panthers lead one to nothing in this game, in case you just joined us. That's deep into the box. Kyle's there. Oh! I'll tell you what, Kyle Alcott had a chance there. I think he was so surprised the ball sailed over the, all the Penn Trapper defense that didn't quite get a good head on it. Levine has it. Touches. Nice little pass to Riley. Riley steps in. Nice move. Touches the middle. We have Tyler Stevens here. Looking to spring you. Beautiful pass. Oh, the goalie read that well. Coming off his line. Makes the play. But that's a great look again by Stevens. The goalie is dangerously close to coming across the goalie line when he's before he's punting the ball. Touch in, Levine wins. Kyle with a nice little touch in, he has room. Looking for you, no, Shuley. Shuley touches that, looking for Mills. Defender touches it, oh, Michael Shuley just couldn't quite get it to Lenny Mills. To his credit, that was great work by Sean McCormick, the Penn Trafford defense. And look at Dustin LeBeau showing off the athleticism on the sideline. Former upper St. Clair goalie, doing outstanding work. Now you never lose your reflexes. It's St. Clair on the throw. Shuley touches back to you. You back to Shuley. Looking for a cross. Can't quite get it through two uh, Penn Trafford defenders. Trying to get a clear, but Le Levine's up again. Oh, he has. He's got Andrew Riley. Oh, just couldn't quite bring it down to his feet. And David Floyd clears off Riley, and uh, we'll get a Penn Trafford throw here. Touched on, but McClintock, Matt McClintock re-enters and controls immediately. Tyler Stevens looking to spring Andrew Riley down the right wing. And Riley's good effort there forces a uh, upper St. Clair throw. And this, would, you, this wouldn't appear to be dangerous to the naked eye, but if you never watch Matt McClintock throw, you'll see why it is here just shortly. And he's going long. It's deep to, Stevens looked like he tried to get ahead. Oh, that was a handball. Huge handball missed by the official there, and that was as clear as day. It's re-entered re by Brindle, and Lenny Mills called off sides. Boy, that's, that's about as blatant of a handball as you could possibly miss. You know, you don't want to be too ultra-critical. There are only uh, two officials out here today, but... I mean, that's as clear as day to everybody who's sitting here, and it had to have been due to his angle. So Trafford's got a, go got a uh, kick from the offsides call here right outside the 18. Touched forward. Palco controlling here. Still controlling. Nice little ball work here. But Kyle steals nicely now. Palco controls back. Whoa, he got him. Two-hand shove by Palco once Tyler Stevens finally wins it. That could have been a yellow card kicking the ball away from uh, where the spot of the foul was, but. So we got Matt McClintock here with a free kick for the Panthers on the restart. Matt taps to Levine. This is Eric Levine. Oh, nice little step through. Now he's got Tyler Stevens in the middle. Stevens. Steps over, taps outside to Andrew Riley. Tapped away by Jaegers. Riley almost wins it back, but that's unfortunately going to be a goal kick. Will not be rewarded for his effort. So we got another Penn Trafford goal kick. And he goes long with it. McClintock just skipped a header back. And Brindle tapping back to Lewis. Lewis looking up. Couldn't quite get the ball to. But we got an offsides. 
Burke looking for the quick restart to space, and he does have Andrew Riley. But Tyler's going to come on and take it here. Tyler continues and controls. Still has time. Looking for Riley once again, a similar play to what we just saw a minute ago. Jaeger tries to turn, but ooh, this is dangerous. Ooh, Tyler with a little bit of an errant touch. Now going wide again, but Yu is already slashing in, trying to uh, make a run to the far post. Yu's going to win that back. Nice hustle. Kind of dragged off the ball there. Trafford turns. And Ed Palco, once again, a dangerous player in the mid. Nice little touch forward here. Down the wing, another touch. Miscommunication in the back line. And we're off sides again, uh, the left wing of Ben Trafford. Early in the season, especially when you're playing with unfamiliar guys, communication in the back line is sometimes a difficulty. They were pretty excellent yesterday, but uh, tough there. No goals allowed today, though. They've been pretty stout on the back line so far. Ball sails up, Lenny touches. But Trafford once again controlling the 50-50s. Nice step in by Brendel. And a little push off by uh, 10. Are they going to, no, they thought that was just going to be the restart, but they tap it back to Chris Burke. Now this is Burke on the uh, Panther free kick. Burke going. T Tyler tries to flick on. This is Mike Shuley. Shuley was looking for a little through pass. Couldn't get it to him. Oh, nice little touch to Kyle. This is you. You with a nice cross. Dangerous. Shuley running in, but that's going to be a corner kick, I believe. Yeah, Sean McCormick came back and chested it out of trouble, but it ran across the end line. Beautiful little series of passes and touches there. Shuley to you, and then back in front for Panther corner. Yoshihara, newcomer to Upper St. Clair, will be taking the corner here. Nice little in-swinger. Headed out by Jaegers, but Lenny Mills controls. Looking for a shot. Couldn't quite get there. Lenny with the ba back head. Out. Burke chests it down. Look at Burke's seal up. Trying to draw a throw, didn't get it, but Brindle's going to touch back to Lewis, who has plenty of time here to switch fields. Going down the middle instead. Kyle challenges, almost wins. Oh, yes, he did. Mike Shuley's got it. Whoa. <laughs> Shuley had a chance to spring him there, and it was kind of a little tackle. Stevens is going to step over, and McClintock was looking to go quick down the field to the right, but now we're just going to get everybody into the box and try to... Uh, Maybe see if we can't get a header or a loose ball here late in the first half with Upper St. Clair leading 1 0. And this is Nathan Brindle, our sweeper, going to take the free kick here. It's going long into the right. Shuley trying to win it. Oh, it's beautifully dangerous in the box. This is Lenny Mills. Boy, Lenny seems like he's getting hung up somehow. Matt McClintock gets tripped on a really dangerous two footed tackle. That definitely ought to be a card. That was two feet tackle from behind in the box in addition to being a penalty kick, clearly. And I do believe we, he might have both, but that, that's just an unnecessary tackle from that point. He has his back to goal, and he went in with two feet. I would be really surprised if we don't see a card, and McClintock is shaken up. Matt is really angry. He knows that's a very dangerous tackle, especially in that position on the field. And it's going to be Lenny Mills. I, I didn't see a card issued. I'm, I got to admit, I'm a little bit surprised. It's not the type of play you don't want to penalize. I mean, a PK is a pretty uh, large penalty, but it's a behavior you don't want to repeat. So this will be Lenny Mills. Come on, Lenny. Come on, Lenny. Yeah. And Lenny, nothing but net. I believe Lenny also made yesterday in the PKs. Uh, <laughs> against Thomas Jefferson, and he keeps his perfect record alive, his second goal. And the Upper St. Clair Panthers extend their lead to 2-0 late in the first half over Penn Trafford. That's, that's a big goal right there late in the first half as far as momentum goes. The game's been played decently evenly in the midfield, but St. Clair to get the second goal, boy, that 2-0 deficit in soccer feels like a ton. 
This is Penn Trafford once again. Nice to see a little bit of shade in the game. Maybe it'll stop some of the cramping from yesterday. It was just hot, blazing sun all day yesterday. It had been most of the early morning today, but uh, some, some clouds finally. This is Stevens. Touches in the midfield. Nick Palmieri has some time and space. Boy, Lenny Mills making a run here. Mike Shuley overlapping. Lenny trying to get some space to cross it. Nice little touch back to Riley. Riley looking for Mike Shuley. Nice play by Jaegers once again. And they're trying to spring Lognane here. Nice little ball, but look at Eric Levine. And a, probably a smart play at this point. Get your, def get your back line situated and organized. Eric Levine has done nothing but good stuff the last two days. I've been very impressed with his play. Now traffic controlling again. Touchback. McCormick has space here. Touches forward to Saffron. Now over to Palco. Palco touches again, looking for a shot. Chips well over the goal. And into the parking lot. So Upper St. Clair will have a goal kick here. Lewis goes deep. Mills tries to control, can't quite get there. Oh, but touches right to Lenny Mills. Looked like another handball missed. Riley trying to control, but here's Penn Trafford. Oh, nice little pass. Logan with a touch. He has space here in the midfield, dangerous. Tries kind of an ill-advised shot from 30 yards out and goes way wider than that. Be another St. Clair goal kick. So what happens when you extend a 1-0 lead to two, you, you kind of mentally don't stay as patient and you look to you know, fire and try to score too quickly. And I think that's what that, it was a case of that. He had a lot of room. Lewis goes low and down the middle. He was not pleased with that, but hopefully it will fall harmlessly here. Tyler trying to win it. Nice little bicycle. Oh, but, oh, touch forward. And Andrew Riley taps out of bounds. We do have a throw in deep in Panther territory. All kinds of room here. Touch in the middle. Boy, Palco, not a big guy, tried to get up and Lewis tried to clear with his foot there. Now this is chested by Brindle. Kyle Altcold with a beautiful little touch in. That's a foul on Penn Trafford. And looks like St. Clair is going to uh, be able to get it out of danger here via the free kick. Nice long kick by Brindle. Lenny trying to shield him off here. This is Mike Shuley. Nice touch back. Nick Palmieri. Oh, nice, ooh, a little through ball off the shoulder of John McCormick. This is Riley. Ooh, look and turn Lenny Mills, but Nick Palmieri's got some room here. Oh, he could not quite get the little crossover. And now we got another counter. And that, my friends, is the end of the first half. An excellent first half of soccer. Upper St. Clair getting two goals, one from Lenny Mills and the other from, who did score the first goal? Oh, uh, Nick Palmieri. And so the... Upper St. Clair Panthers lead Penn Trafford 2 0 at halftime. You ready? All right, we're kicking off the second half here. We have still Upper St. Clair in the white, now moving from right to left. Still Penn Trafford in the green from left to right. And Upper St. Clair leads as we enter the second half 2 0. The Panthers struck first fairly early in the game. Nick Palmieri off a beautiful cross, I believe, from Lenny Mills. And uh, that was 1 0 Upper St. Clair. Matt McClintock was fouled in the penalty box late in the uh, first half, and Lenny Mills converted the PK, and that's 2-0, Upper St. Clair, and that is where we stand right now as we start the second half. This is Penn Trafford. Their midfield's been outstanding so far. Good to see Matt McClintock starting the second half. Hopefully he is back and healthy. It was a scary tackle in the box. Uh, oh, Lenny Mills, beautiful little toe poke away. Jaeger's trying to get on him. Oh, nice little move around the goalie. He shoots, and it is going to cross the line and in. Boy, great anticipation. A, a little dangerous. Justin Jaeger's the uh, Penn Trafford defender, tried to make a little crossover move really close to his own box. Lenny with a little toe poke away, and it was smooth sailing. A little move to deke around the goalie. Fires at home. Lenny Mills for the Upper St. Clair Panthers, his second goal of the afternoon. As predicted, Lenny Mills got a lot of time last year on the state championship team, and uh, he really is an excellent finisher, very quick, and uh, has some great moves, and 
He showed them all there, the total package. So 3 nothing up for St. Clair. You deflects it off the defender, and uh, it's going to be a throw in for St. Clair. This is Nick Palmieri. Touches through, but too many defenders. Trap in the midfield. Lognane. This is Saffron. He's got space. Looking for a through ball. Uh oh. You touches it, but a little step over. Oh, Lognane. Beautiful move. In tight. Nice play in tight. I think that was Burke. But not out. Still a hot catch, and McClintock deflects the crossing pass. Palmieri clears. And trying to spring Lenny Mills again. Mills keeps that ball in on the left sideline. Uh, look at the speed. Mills takes off. Didn't have a whole lot of help. Nice support in defense, but Lenny Mills doing just great work up the left wing. And that's great hustle by Mike Shuley, but it will be a, a pen trap for throw in deep in St. Clair territory. Trafford trying to go down the line here. It skips. Brindle in the center trying to get Paul Mary here. Palco steps in and makes the play. And Trafford controls again. Oh, but McClintock steals back. They're getting a little careless with some of their touches. Lenny thought he was even there, but uh, just off sides. Tried to time that. Matt McClintock made a really nice play to steal and counter in the midfield, but just off sides. So we have a free kick. This will be Justin Yeagers, who had the mishap just a few minutes ago with, on the restart. Alt call trying to head it, but Penn Trafford will control in the midfield. Saffron with a nice little ball up here. Left-footed strike trying to go far post. Not very close, and it will roll out of bounds for a goal kick. Trafford's looks like they've had a lot of chances in the midfield here. They've had some room, but uh, not many of them have resulted in real good shots on goal. Sean Lewis has done a nice job when called upon, but... Hasn't been tested too, uh, too crazily so far. Lewis on the goal kick. Saffron wins, but nice ball by Levine. Looking for Lenny Mills up here. But Jaegers with a nice little ball out wide. This is Steve, Steve Cornage. Middle to Saffron, now back to him. Oh, Aaron touch. Maddie trying to win it, little hand fighting. And we have a foul on Penn Trafford. Maddie, quick restart. He has Nick Palmieri front running down the left side. Nick, he loses his footing. Well, that is that is the danger of playing on grass. There are uh, all kinds of holes and things, and it's just not quite as uniform as the uh, friendly artificial turf of Upper St. Clair Stadium, which is brand new this year. They got the field turf installed. I'm looking forward to seeing some soccer on that. This is Penn Trafford. Outcold steps on, almost wins it. Uh, nice little touch over. This is Palco. Got it up the middle here. And there is some space. Ooh, a long shot. Sean Lewis, standing like a stone wall back there. Not a single goal allowed today. Nice punt, Andrew Riley went in on the wing. But there's Ed Palco again. Definitely been an, had an impressive afternoon so far. There's Nikki Palmieri winning it. What was the problem? Was it an inadvertent whistle? They look like they called a foul on Penn Trafford, but I can't figure out why in, in God's name he would have stopped that. It, we had a clear advantage. But Palmieri's got it again with space. Palmieri, nice little turn. Looks like he was tackled to Shuley. Shuley with his back to goal. Mike Shuley with a great effort to try to get back. Boy, he looked like he poked the ball cleanly, but it was from behind. Trying to go down the wing here. This is Ryan Schnarris. He's a junior. I think this is his first action. Back to Cornage. He's got the ball down the right wing. Touches in middle. Ricky Miller. Back to Schnars, but Alcold wins it again. He's looking more and more confident with each passing minute here. Nice ball. He has a streaking Mike Shuley down the wing. And Shuley's going to win that. Kyle's got it again. Looks for the in swinger. Lenny with a nice back heel to Palmieri. Palmieri. Oh! 
looking upper 90 left side. And let me tell you, boy, ladies and gentlemen, that's as pretty of a goal as you're going to see. Well, let's recap what we saw there. That, that's Altcold won the ball in the midfield, and he went deep to Shuley, and Shuley did a real nice job of shielding and winning. Shuley then tapped to Altcold, who made a nice little in-swinger, and Lenny Mills kind of sold it with a nice little back heel. Nikki Palmieri buried upper 90 left. Boy, you just love to see everything come together like that, and that was a couple gorgeous passes connecting. And upper St. Clair, boy, talk about rebounding from their first loss. That's, this is an impressive performance here so far, especially in the second half. And Penn Trafford looking to shovel now. Ball clears, out of bounds, stop for St. Clair throw. <laughs> now this is Nate Brindle. Tapping back to our goalie, Sean Lewis. Looking over for Chris Burke, kind of caught a flyer there. <laughs> and it's gonna go out of bounds for Penn Tra Trafford. Quick throw to the middle here. Trevor trying to win it. This is Saffron. He's in a dangerous area. Little lefty shot. Didn't get much of it. And Lewis safely. John Lewis going for the throw now. And he has Nick Palmieri to space. This is a good way to counter. Oh, wow. Nice little pass to the outside. And you wins it. But it's going to roll across the end line for a goal kick. Great idea by Nick Palmieri. And Trafford on the restart. Ooh, low and short. I should probably mention this is a different goalie for Penn Trafford here in the second half. Surely wins that one. Look like a foul. That's look like another foul. Well, Surely got away with a little push there, but that was clearly a foul on the tackle. So, guess you got to call it, and we do have a free kick. So this is Yui Shihara on the restart here. He's got a little free kick just outside the 18 from the left wing. So the new, the new Trafford goal here in the second half has really been tested. That's a nice little in-swinger, but up to the task. Doesn't quite have as strong of a punt as the uh, first half goalie. That's a short one, but high. Eric Levine steps in and wins again. And you trying to touch forward. Courtnich trying to win it there, but this is Shuley. And Courtnich does a nice job of winning it. Shuley checking back, great hustle. And chips forward. Matty McClintock winning it strongly in the midfield, does the Panther captain. And turns and controls. This is Andrew Riley. Look at Andrew Riley move. And pokes forward. Boy, good extra effort. Sold by Paul Murray. This is McClintock. Looking for Mike Shuley. Trying to shield. Does pretty well. This is Tyler Stevens. He has some space here. One more touch. Going inside. Nice little cross. Oh, you couldn't. It was just a little high. You couldn't quite get his balance. That was a really nice try. Heads just wide. Boy, he was in the right place. Tyler Stevens with some great work down there. About three touches and a nice little left in swinging cross. Very dangerous. And this is Penn Trafford. Oh, and an errant pass to really nobody. Tyler Stevens controls in the middle. But Tony Saffron wins it back. Looking up front, but Andrew Riley couldn't quite touch it to, uh, to Nick. And this is Trafford again. Palco on the counter. Nice little touch forward. But Nate Brindle's been well positioned all, all day, and that's no exception. But, oh, they got a goal kick there. I was going to say that probably bounced off Nate Brindle's body, but they did miss a PK for St. Clair early in the game, so we'll, we'll try to keep it un unbiased here. I'll give you what I see. And this is Sean Lewis on the uh, goal kick. Touched up by you to Stevens. Stevens has time. Now McClintock. That with a little bit of a bad touch, but gets it back. Now he's looking for Andrew Riley down the wing. Jaegers with a dangerous touch. Boy, this got him into trouble once before on the Lenny Mills goal. And it does again. Surely steals and looks like he gets deep, wins a deep throw. No, I guess uh, Penn Trafford's going to get that one. But, boy, he's playing with a lot in his own end. That's got to be scary. 
Matt comes on and wins that again. Very aggressive stuff from Matt McClintock, which is not unusual if you've watched him play over the last two years and he wins a, a free kick. <sighs> so the Panthers looking to add on another goal here with a, uh, a set piece deep in the Penn Trafford zone and uh, Eric Levine's going to take this one. A low, str a low driven ball. Oh, no. Oh, and you can't believe it. Boy, it was, it was, it was, it was a driven ball rather than the high floater, and I think everybody was kind of surprised it got through, and boy, you had a wide open cage and just poked it high. If you look at him, I think he feels he's a little bit snake bit right now, but uh, he's really in the right position, and these are going to start resulting in the goals for him. Now the goal kick from Penn Trafford, and it's going to fly out of bounds. Burke will take the throw. And couldn't quite get it there, but this is Brindle. Tyler heading on to Paul Mary. Oh, nice little touch to Riley. Andrew Riley with the finish. Boy, Nick Palmieri, I didn't think he was going to give that up, and he gave it up very late, but when he did, it was a really gorgeous ball. Riley was sprinting in hard with a nice finish by the goalie. And an exclamation point with a little flip over him at the end, but that will be the fifth Panther goal. So Upper St. Clair coming back strong today, up 5 nothing. They really had a lot of opportunities to finish yesterday and didn't do so, and uh, you're seeing what happens the day after. And we have a bunch of substitutions here. JT Pion re-entering the game here. And uh, Burdett coming back in also. And uh, number 22 who, we know his first name is Vince, Vince, so we're getting there. Uh, <laughs> and here's Lenny Mills streaking again. J JT's there. Uh, unfortunately, the goalie just got a piece of it, or JT had a, a wide open goal there. He was streaking and Lenny made a great play. Burke, nice save and touch. This is Nick Palmieri, nice little touch over. Going into the box, this is Pion, but can't quite get there. Trafford goalie makes the play. Boy, St. Clair's attack looks excellent in the second half here. Putting together some right, nice passes in tight quarters. This is Trafford. And then Burdett wins to Levine and McClintock. And nice little pass. This is uh, Burdett again. Burdett crosses, unfortunately, right off the head of the Penn Trafford defender, but he wins it back. Good hustle. Justin Burdett doing real good work over there, working hard. Now Penn Trafford looking to counter. Saffron looking up. Lognane in front. Now tap back. Kortnich has it. Nick Palmieri checking back. Almost wins it, but can't quite get it. No. Nope. <laughs> Kortnich still has it, looking to cross. Crosses in the box, but Levine pokes away. Plays it down his feet, nice little move there. That's Schnars again. Ah, oh, but Vince comes in there and pokes it away nicely. Burdett again, and this is Matt McClintock. And Nick's got a little bit of room. Looking for JT sprinting, great little ball. Couldn't quite get there, but a very nice try by Nick Palmieri. Pokes to the middle, Schnars has it with a little time. Vince comes on and pokes him from behind. JT two. Pion wins. JT has it, now taps back to Matt. Oh, Matty with a nice little ball looking to spring Len Mills. And forcing McCormick, the defender, to just tap it out of bounds for a upper St. Clair throw. And are they going to wait for Matt McClintock? Yes, they are. It is uh, in his territory. It's deep in Penn Trafford territory. And St. Clair looking to add on to a already extensive 5 nothing lead. McClintock looking to throw. Pion with a nice little back flick off his head. Nobody running off him, but it was that's the size and athleticism inside, and you like that on corners. Nicky trying to win it. Ah, that's a definite foul. 
Vicky got frustrated and pulled his jersey, uh, so it will be a free kick for <laughs> Lenny. Sneaked in there and almost won that, actually. That was clever. And he did. He wins it back. And Lenny's going to get, get this after all that. Tyler sees Matt streaking. Now he crosses it over. They're going to switch fields here. This is Levine. Touch forward. Oh, nice little play by Penn Trevor. Looking for the give and go. This is Saffron. Saffron through McClintock. He is streaking, but Burke there again. Nick trying to win it to Matt, but this is Saffron again winning it. Oh, nice little through ball to Lognane. Burke trying to get him. Beautiful little shot. Oh, that's a gorgeous strike. Boy, that was all through the work of Tony Saffron in the midfield. Won, won the ball over a couple St. Clair midfielders. Came forward, poked to Andrew Lognane, and he had a nice little right-footed finish. Snuck just inside the left post, side net, and Penn Trafford is on the board. Cutting into the upper St. Clair lead, it is now 5-1. And you is subbing in here now, back in the game for Lenny Mills, who's really done yeoman's work in the second half, working very hard, checking back, done a, created a lot of opportunities. And you wins it. Levine, and this is Nick Palmieri with room. Now runs out, looking to tap it ahead for you, but defended by Jaegers. And this is Penn Trafford. And Matt McClintock collects it. He was looking up for a uh, pion, couldn't quite get it there. Ben Trafford on the counter. Now this is Tyler Stevens, JT tapping it back. Vince has it. Saffron again with a nice little tap. Eric again, looking in the middle. Matt, toe tap to you. Maddie's got it, looking for Nick. Oh, Nick with a nice little touch in. And now the touch out to Burdett. This is Justin Burdett running on. Looking to cross. Oh, nice, strong. And they're going to say the ball rolled across the line. That's Justin Burdett protests, but uh, that's going to be a Penn Trafford throw. <clears throat> and Matt McClintock's going to get a breather. Kyle Alcott returning. So we got a Trafford throw in their own end. Throwing it back, Jaegers has it. JT was running on hard there, couldn't quite get there. And traffic controlling just outside the 18. Tyler, a little touch out, this is you. Looking middle, that's Nick. And uh, Nick probably should have touched it forward. Didn't see the defender, and uh, Trafford steals and counters. Shoulder down, but uh, checking back, Vince has it. Touch to the middle. Touches ahead. This is the goal scorer, Lognane. Nice little move. Touch middle. Nice play. Nate Brindle, very aggressive. Looking for the center here. Kyle tried to touch out. Lognane's got some space. He puts a sh actually kind of an awkward shot on Bend and Wright. And uh, Sean Lewis makes the save. And Lewis with the deep, deep punt. Burdett with a nice touch forward. This is JT Pion running on. Pion with a touch. And it looks like he has just created a, a corner kick for the Panthers. Good work by J.T. Pion. And we got another Panthers sub. This is Corey Trout entering the game for Chris Burke. Play left marking back. Actually, they're going to keep Corey on the right side, move Eric Levine to the left. And Justin Burdett will take the corner kick.
Burnett strikes it hard, it swings away. Nikki's got a shot on it. Kyle tried to touch it forward, but now it's uh, Vince controlling on the wing here. Back to Nick. Oh, he crosses it. Tyler tried to control it down, but that was struck hard. And uh, Trafford will clear. Somebody was making a run for Penn Trafford on the left wing, but Burdett got back and uh, control tried to clear, but not out. Uh, unfortunately for Penn Trafford, a bad touch and ball will roll out of bounds for a Panther throw. And we have more substitutions. Michael Shuley re-entering, Lenny Mills too. Long throw, now it's one, and this is you again. Stolen a little. <laughs> Burnett came in with a really aggressive tackle there, knocked it off the Penn Trafford defender for a St. Clair throw in. Burnett's gonna get up and look quick for Lenny Mills. And this is Lenny Chestnut. Wow, outstanding finish. And ladies and gentlemen, hats littering all over the field right now. That would be Lenny's third goal of the afternoon as the Panthers extend their lead to six to one. And, you know, and that, Justin Burnett gets a lot of credit for that goal. Not only did he hustle sliding in with a beautiful tackle to win the throw in, but then he had the quick restart. Lenny was streaking forward, Lenny chested it down, and another beautiful finish. He's had a great afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, no question about it. So the Panthers have rebounded convincingly today, scoring six goals. Oh, nice little touch forward, this is Saffron. And then he stumbles, little crossover, it was deflected. Boy, that was a nice play by Sean Lewis. It would have been a corner kick by uh, Penn Trafford had it rolled across the end line because it was deflected by Brindle. But Lewis up to the challenge and punts it away. Now Penn Trafford has it. Lognane controls. <coughs> Touches in the middle. Now it's one. This is Levine on. He's got Lenny Mills and he's on sides. He's even. Lenny touches it forward again. He's streaking on. And out of bounds. Will be a corner for Upper St. Clair. Boys, every time Lenny gets the ball there one on one, you just think something good's going to happen. He's made so many good scoring opportunities and clearly has three goals today. Uh, that's going to be a weapon for Upper St. Clair as the year progresses. I believe this is you on the corner. It's tough to see from here. Left footed in swinger. Tapped out. This is Tyler Stevens. Oh, he's going to strike it. Wow. He had the, he had the Penn Trafford goalie leaning and uh, he tried to go for the upper left corner and just barely missed. A nice strike by Tyler Stevens. Well struck anyway. And this is struck out to the Trafford player not, not looking. He does win anyway. Nice little poke by Corey Trout. And this is going to be Mike Shuley. Couldn't quite win it, but now he wins it. Oh, they tried to do a little crossover. Couldn't quite get it. Altcold, oh, he wins it. This is dangerous. Nice little strike by Kyle Altcold. And it's a lucky seven for the Panthers. They extend their lead to seven to one. And ladies and gentlemen, that's Kyle Altcold's first Upper St. Clair Panther varsity goal. And it looks like we got full scale substitutions for the Panthers as the starters will get a much deserved rest. A wonderful afternoon for the Upper St. Clair starting 11. So we're gonna see some new faces and some new names. Uh, I know the new goalie is a sophomore. I do not remember his name. Mark Hast, they are telling me. And uh, boy, I hope uh, I hope the roster is more, <laughs> more updated than they have been for some of the ones earlier. We got Dan Cosentino here on the uh, left mid. We, we still have the uh, Vince and JT up, up front, so we're okay there. Kyle's still in the midfield, you also in. Yeah, Cosentino on the left mid. 
Burdett's still in the right mid, but uh, the back line is almost completely changed. Phil Luckin is back in, and Sean Conboy, a junior defender, back in the game. And Eric Wolf also. He is a senior. Corey Trout still on the right side. Trying to touch forward to you, won't get it. Zaffron controls. Looking for Logan in the middle. Nice step on by Wolf. Steps forward, ooh, taps to Saffron. He crosses over. Nice little chip. Couldn't quite get there. Poked forward. And one. Oh, you lets it go, and this is JT. Chips forward, looking for you streaking, but can't get there. Cleared high and out. And now controlled by Penn Trafford. 